Hi, I'm Leslie Claire Spillman. I'm the director here at Soren Christensen Gallery, and this is Dark Matter by Ed Smith. Ed is one of our longest represented artists. Um, he's a professor of art at LSU in Baton Rouge, and this is his seventh solo exhibition with us. He's been showing with us since 2005. His work has been pretty appropriately described before as apocalyptic Ottoman, although at the core of all of Ed's work is really a deep concern for um, environmental issues and specifically the shrinking landscape in Louisiana. So this piece is sort of one of the most quintessentially Ed Smith works we have in this exhibition. As I said, Ed is really primarily concerned with environmental issues and a lot of the subjects of his work, whether they be birds or any other animal, are frequently depicted on a rapidly shrinking landscape. It's all about the struggle of the natural world to survive amid the ever encroaching human presence. And as you can see, this little guy has found himself a very sort of barren spot to hang on while he looks for love. So one of my favorite things about Ed's work is that the viewer sort of has multiple experiences when they first look at it. Initially, the work looks very pretty with the subject matter and the colors, but pretty quickly it becomes apparent that there may be something darker at play that the artist is getting at. This piece, You Never Knew, is a really good example of that. With the plumes and the colors and the florals, it is a very pretty painting. But as you start to look at it and absorb more of the details, you see that there may be sort of a dark creature happening here. There's this claw that comes out. And also this idea of the jumble of birds feeds back into this notion of the natural world sort of huddling together tightly to survive. This is by far my favorite piece in this exhibition. It's called Far, Far Away. And with this piece, Ed was actually referencing a very famous painting called Raft of the Medusa by Theodore Géricault. And at the time when that piece was painted, it was incredibly controversial because it depicted a really horrific event, but in a really gorgeous way. And it's kind of an appropriate reference for an artist like Ed to make. The colors and all of the vibrant movement and, and even down to the, the way that it's technically rendered are all exquisite but you know that the conclusion to this story is probably gonna be a pretty dark one.